Christine Brown, Robinhood Crypto's Chief Operations Officer, has recently provided a sneak peek at the app's much-anticipated wallet function. She went on Twitter some days ago to upload a screenshot of a test Dogecoin transfer. It indicates a transaction of 420.71 Doge, around $92, being handled for a charge of 0.02 Doge. Following the much-anticipated release of Dogecoin Core 1.14.5, payments on the network of the flagship meme currency have become substantially less expensive. Thanks for watching Crypto Lion. If you haven't already, consider hitting that subscribe button and turning on post notifications. We'll be right back after this. GSX is an unprecedented financial asset that combines the best elements of a traditional investment with the backing of a stable coin and the use cases of many of the largest decentralized currencies like XRP. Dogecoin co-founder Billy Marcus shared Christine Brown's tweet calling the move amazing for the meme currency and complimenting the coin's low transaction costs. To the joy of its clients, Robinhood had announced the addition of cryptocurrency wallets in late September. Brown said earlier this month that 1.6 million people had already signed up for the queue. Since going public in July, Robinhood has drawn criticism from certain quarters for leaning too much on cryptocurrency trading in its operations. The revelation in the company's pre-IPO regulatory filings that crypto accounted for 17% of its revenues in the first quarter of this year, and that Dogecoin alone represented 34% of that crypto turnover, raised plenty of eyebrows among regulators and prospective investors alike. Somewhat unsurprisingly, Robinhood's financial fortunes have in large part ebbed and flowed with the condition of its crypto trading company. The company's third quarter report that was released indicated a steep reduction in crypto sales, as well as a $200 million loss in total turnover compared to the second quarter. As a consequence of these findings, Robinhood's stock fell below its $38 IPO price, a drop from which it has yet to recoup. While uneven quarterly revenues are unavoidable when operating an investment firm that is subject to the vagaries of the market, Robinhood's performance bolstered the view that the business is too reliant on cryptocurrency in particular. Anyone expecting an internal review of the company's crypto strategy would be greatly incorrect. Instead, it's doubling down on the asset class as a fundamental component of its strategy. Despite discussing poor crypto data on Robinhood's third quarter earnings call, CEO Vlad Tenev touted the creation of a crypto wallet product with a queue of more than 1 million members. On Tuesday, November 9th, Robinhood COO Christine Brown provided further information on the crypto wallet product. Brown disclosed that the company's crypto wallet queue currently surpasses 1.6 million people during an online cryptocurrency event. The tool would work similarly to any other cryptocurrency wallet, enabling customers to transfer their crypto assets into and out of the Robinhood account. Brown was more evasive on whether Robinhood would give in to public pressure to incorporate the Dogecoin-inspired Shiba Inu cryptocurrency on its platform. Brown said the company is not in a rush to expand beyond the seven crypto assets it currently offers for trading. Echoing 10F's comments last month about an uncertain and evolving regulatory environment around new crypto tokens and products, while refusing to be drawn on Shiba Inu specifically. Our approach is a little bit different than a lot of other players out there right now, who are basically racing to list as many assets as possible, she said. We believe that the potential short term benefit is not worth the long term trade off for our consumers. That long-term trade-off is probably the danger that frothy meme coins like Shiba Inu would harm Robinhood consumers who buy into the frenzy without understanding what they're getting into. One only needs to ask those who purchased Dogecoin at or near its record high of 74 cents this past spring how they feel about their investment now. Though, of course, Robinhood never let such reservations prevent it from offering that particular token to its users. More likely, and as Tenev noted, the company is wary of securities regulators who are keeping a close eye on the crypto sector. However, we shouldn't anticipate Robinhood to reduce its crypto offers very soon. When you've created a reputation for yourself by catering to a generation of millennial and Gen Z investors eager to put their money to work, you'd be wrong to deny them one of their favorite investment products, especially when it's become such an important part of your own company. Take me to church, The original meme currency had a great run this first half of the year when it removed a zero from its price and went on to set a new all-time high of 74 cents before losing more than 70% of its value over the next six months. The meme currency gained some traction last month along with Shiba Inu and hit a new monthly high of 33.8 cents 
before falling back below 25 cents this month. Doge may be down 70% from its all-time high, but it's still up 3,000% on the ROI, which paints a fairly accurate picture of the enormous bull run it pulled in the first two quarters of this bull season. The meme currency has not only gained in market worth, but it's also made significant infrastructure improvements to make it a legitimate form of investment and payment alternative rather than merely a joke. The company stated that they would give free Dogecoin as well as Bitcoin and Ethereum in a sweepstake in collaboration with fast food behemoth Burger King. Robinhood's wager on whether a Burger King Whopper might lessen the inhibitions of new traders on the fence about crypto may not appear to be the most visible representation of the company's objective to democratize finance. However, Brown believes that the sweepstakes, like Dogecoin itself, may make cryptocurrency appear less daunting. It's a lovely objective, but their business strategy is utterly antithetical to it, said Chris Schwartz, associate professor of finance at the University of California. According to his analysis, Robinhood's business model over the last year has focused on bringing a consistent supply of first-time traders into the markets. Furthermore, Schwartz recently co-authored a study for the Journal of Finance in which he discovered that the way information is shown in the Robinhood app influences users' purchasing, causing new investors to flock into assets as their prices rise. It may eventually result in negative returns. Robinhood was working with Burger King to give its most loyal customers the chance to win free cryptocurrency until November 21st. Customers who signed up for Burger King's BK Royal Perks reward program had the potential to win Doge, Ethereum, and Bitcoin after making a $5 or more Burger King transaction. The sweepstakes were heavily stacked in favor of giving participants free Dogecoin while prizes last, with the odds of 1 to 1. The chances of actually winning Ether or Bitcoin are much lower, with odds of 1 in 10,000 and 1 in 100,000 respectively. Apart from the fact that its value is less than a dollar, this majority of Dogecoin sweepstakes contributes to the profits Robinhood has already made from listing the asset. According to data from Aptopia and Yahoo, the price of Dogecoin has increased the number of downloads of Robinhood's mobile app over the last year. Customers trading Dogecoin accounted for 62% of Robinhood's crypto revenue in quarter 2 of 2021, but the company reported a sharp drop in crypto trading in the third quarter. Meanwhile, many Robinhood customers have switched to the new dog-themed Shiba Inu coin and are demanding that the company make it available for trading. This shows that there is significant demand for the company to add a new dog-themed cryptocurrency. Robinhood's third quarter revenue increased by 35% to $364.9 million, compared to $270 million in the third quarter of 2020. However, the fact that it fell short of Wall Street estimates of $423.9 million has some analysts wondering what revenues from a normalized level of trading on the platform should look like. Thank you for watching today's video. If you enjoyed it, make sure you subscribe if you haven't already and turn on bell notifications. We also have a free Discord group where we share daily signals. And now you can also support us on Patreon. We have a special offer for our first 100 members, only $9.99 for our VIP Discord channels, where we share much more in-depth analysis and even one-on-one -on -one sessions. And make sure you check out the GSX competition for your chance to win big. Links are below, and if you have any questions, drop us a comment. And as always, good luck and happy investing. Perfect.